Hello! That's Gerald, my screaming goat. And when he screams, that means it is 7 o'clock on Tamara's Paper Trail. Welcome! I am Tamara Bertram, coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and you are on a Mystery Card Monday. It is my favorite day of the week, you know that. You know that to be true. Who is in the house? Look, Sonia is straight out of the gate. Thank you, Sonia. Welcome to the show. Anybody else? We have anybody? Oh, we've got a few sets of eyes on us tonight. Thank you, Sonia. Hi, Melanie. Welcome. I hope you had a nice day. It's Monday. You know, that's always my favorite day of the week. Uh, people go away and I get stuff done. Although I didn't get as much done today as I had planned to, but it's okay. It's okay. It's been all right. Oh, the print. Oh my gosh, Jennifer. <coughs> Where have you been? What's going on with you? We need to chat. I should message you. Hi, Joy. Hello. Hello, Teresa and Jen. Marcella. Are you, you're on vacation, aren't you, Marcella? Are you down south? I think you are. Hi, Hope. Deborah. hello from Ohio. And Penny, hello, hello. Welcome, you guys. Um, what are we going to do tonight? I have a fantastic layout. And yeah, as per, it's one I did before. So here's the deal. I found out my sister-in-law... Uh, oh, you have a Zoom on Monday nights. Oh, yay for being on a break. You need to ditch that group, whatever that is. Can't be nearly as fun as Mystery Card Monday. Jennifer, seriously. Adulting, huh? Okay. Yes, I know. We've missed your comments, too. Like, seriously, you're a huge part of this community. Hi, Susan. Welcome. Um, anyway, yeah, so my sister-in-law had some surgery, I guess, over a week ago. Uh, maybe like 10 days ago. Mm. Uh, I've had a lot going on in my life, as you know. So that kind of got off my radar. So I went to send her a card today. She had some surgery and I went to send her a card and uh, I couldn't give it away. I'm like, oh, this is a layout. This is a layout. I need to case myself tonight. So originally I was thinking I wasn't going to have any brain cells left today. Um, I haven't slept in forever. It's been, it's, it's been a long time since I've slept. Like I'm usually awake from two to five, right? So, uh, I thought, no, I can't do, I can't do the mystery card Monday. We did one last week. I'll do a, like a show and tell, um, you know, let me show you how it's done kind of thing. And, um, then I came down here and I couldn't do it. I, I needed to play. I needed to create. And let me tell you, it changed my mood. Um, y'all saw my post, right? We won't get into that because so because I cry and I don't want to do that but uh, I was very very fragile today and um, being down here in my cave and creating it really it changed my mood so I'm so so glad and so grateful for what I do and for you guys and for the community and hi Ingrid ah I love that you can catch me live too hello Jennifer Kathy Paulette Carolyn hey sister hope you're doing all right and Cheryl on the break screen. Excellent, Sherry. Oh, Marcella's leaving Monday the 11th. Okay, well, that's awesome. Yay for you, Marcella. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so, yeah, I love the layout tonight. Now, so I'm going to get to it in a sec. I'm not going to ramble nearly as much because, like I say, uh, you can just imagine this weekend was just a whole lot of nothing. Um, I kept my your happy place, but I think I missed that post. What post, Beth? This is my happy place. My cave. My craft cave is my happy place. Anyway, yeah, this weekend, uh, there was a lot of nothing Saturday. I didn't leave the house. Uh, there were a lot of tears going on on Saturday. Sunday, I did leave the house because, you know, um, although I didn't want to, and it was snowy and cold, uh, you still you still have things to do, right? I had I needed to get to the post office. I needed to go visit my dad. Um, I needed to return a frying pan. Yes, I did. So I was out yesterday. It was a good day. But today was, uh, it was a little weird because Craig was gone. Um, Alicia was at school. Rebecca was home, but she was studying. And it was, it was very, 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 very quiet. So yeah. Anyway, so not a lot went on this weekend. I, I gotta say. So nothing to report. So I am going to jump into a few things. Hello, Wanda. Hi, Mary. MJ. Hello. And Joanne. Welcome. Excellent. Um, oh, well, Bev, well, you didn't hear Bev. Well, I had to put my dog down on Friday. So that's the post you missed. Yeah. So anyway, we're not going to go there, but yeah. <clears throat> anyway, um, a Facebook memories was not nice this morning because I had the cutest picture of my dog show up on my Facebook memories. So I'm just like, yeah, okay. A little too, a little too soon there, Facebook, but okay. Anyway, let me go over a few things that, uh, is gonna go on. So I love my glass mat because look what I can do. I can write notes to myself and then I can show for you guys. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's true, Bev. Yeah. I was in. Hi, Judy. Hello. And Marski from Calgary. How are you? Yes. Okay. Um, anyway, so online extra uh, online exclusives start tomorrow. So I'm going to show you a, a few of those really quickly, just because that's not what we're here to do. But I want to I want to show you what's available tomorrow, because I do suspect that some things are going to fly off the shelves. Some things are already um, sold out on the pre-order to demonstrators. Like that's how popular these products are. So I want you to know that I am placing an order tomorrow. If you're in Canada and you don't have a demonstrator and you want some of these products, shoot me a message. Uh, I'll show them to you and you can let me know what you want. I can't show you the beautiful graphic that my my bestie Tracy had uh, very kindly put together and shared with me. Um, I can't post that until tomorrow morning, but if there's anything you want, uh, by all means, let me know and get it soon. Whether you're a demonstrator or a customer, get it soon because they will, some of the stuff is, um, going to sell out pretty quickly. Uh, oh, Linda, is this your first rodeo? Do you not, I'm always wearing two pairs of glasses. I'm always, yeah, progressives are not for me, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can do that, Karen. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, it's okay. Actually, just on a little aside, the the photos generally bring me a lot of joy. Um, on Sat Friday night, Saturday morning, um, I was scrolling through my uh, all my photos, and actually the the photos, they made me smile, they made me giggle, and they actually brought me a lot of comfort. Um, but yeah, it was a little jarring this morning. But oh, okay, I didn't expect that. But yeah, no, I'll I'll look into that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, um, that I'll show you those in a second, but first and foremost over here, extra, I don't know if my operator is standing by, I know Tracy was uh, going to try to pop on, but you know, life happens. Uh, our extravaganza that's in person in Mournville, Alberta on May 18th. Yes. It's a long weekend. We're half sold out. Woo. Love that. Here's the deets very quickly. Uh, May 18th, half sold out you guys. Okay. So the minimum registration is a hundred dollars. It's all in color based. So we're going to see the new, the new, thank you, Susan. Uh, it's very fresh for you, isn't it? Oh, it's awesome. um, anyway, it's uh, surrounding the in colors. So all of that stuff. And then there are a couple of add-ons. I'll go into that more on Friday during my coffee, coffee break, just because that's not what we're here to do. But I just wanted to let you know that uh, Tracy, actually, I think she did the early bird draw and she'll be posting it, or she did post it, or she's letting me know, and I missed it. I don't know. Anyway, um, the winner has been drawn for the early bird uh, draw, but you can still register um, up until sometime. I don't know when. I can't. I don't know. Okay, and I've knocked this. Okay, so very quickly, I want to show you some of the stuff that's on offer for the um, online exclusives. There is some shimmer. <laughs> Excuse me, that caught me off guard. There is some shimmer paper. And this was originally mispackaged. It said that there were, oh, this isn't the right one. Is this the right? Yes, it is. I think this is the one that's online exclusive. There's Berry Burst, Old Olive and White. Okay, hurry. We're in a hurry. Open it. Okay. Can you see this? Okay. So it's shimmer, right? The glitter stays in there and there's a white hiding in there. Okay. So that's one of the online exclusives. One sheet of each. Originally it said two sheets of each, but it was a lie. Big fat lie. One sheet of each. Okay. I showed you this list last week. It's the Zinnia paper. Gorgeous if you like bright and bold and flowers. But the other side is fabulous because they're solids. Look, Carolyn, look, the purple. You have to have the Zinnias. And there's a matching stamp set and bundle that I didn't get yet. Um, yeah, you're the only one, Jennifer. You're it. You're the only person who doesn't like glimmer paper. That's odd. Okay. All right. Just glad we established that. Okay. So there's a matching um, bundle that I didn't get yet. Uh, but it's actually, you can't get that because something is sold out. One of the... You can't get the Zinnia. The, pay, the stamp set is sold out, I think, right now. So you can't get that tomorrow. But anyway, there's a little tease. Um, now, let me just quickly go through some of these. These are some of the older ones. I need to make my dad a card. I bought this for my dad. I need to make him a card. Feathered Flight. Comforting Thoughts. So these are in the online exclusives. You, I'll, I'll post, um, if I get a chance, I'm going to schedule a post tomorrow with a poster of all of these, um, if, if I have my head about me. So I'll try that. I'm going out for breakfast tomorrow. So Magnolia, Magnolia, Magnolia mood and matching dies, happy little things. And these two little itty bitty dies. So you need these. Come on. Latte love. I'm playing with that tonight. Yes, I am. Sweetly scripted. Filled with fun. I came down here to play with this one specifically today. This was going to be my, like, let me show you how. And then I got sidetracked. I love this and I can't wait to play with it, but it didn't, I'm not sure that it works with tonight's layout. So that one didn't happen. Let me just pop these back here, back on the shelf. Gotta make room. 
Um, then there is, oh, there's just this, this is a kit. Um, it's in the online exclusive. It's not, you can get this now actually. And, oh, my ring is falling apart. That's great. Oh, shh. okay. Stop that. This is, uh, the new, uh, happy house plants kit that I showed. Oh, that's not very helpful. Is it? There we go. Uh, they're six by six frames and then you get these, um, mats and then you get, okay, this ring is my, oh, I know why. Okay. I was going to say it's falling off. It's because, stop it. I don't want to get into it. Let's put it on my other ring. Okay. Um, then you get these, uh, inserts and, um, plants that you build them up. They're 3D. So that's part of the offering in the online exclusives. On the floor you go, because we got cards to make. And there's this. This is uh, a two pack of the small little fun patterns embossing folders. So those are the little tinier ones. There's some ribbon. There are, I'll show you, I don't know, it's a tease because they're sold out right now. Uh, but the, there are uh, these. And they're sold out for a week or so. And they're fabulous. I love them. Yeah. Did I get the happy little things bundle? Yeah. Didn't I just show it? I just showed it. I think Jennifer, aren't you watching? Yeah. Do, do, do. Happy little things. Betcha. So that's all available tomorrow. Extravaganza's half sold out. Let me clear this away. Um, so yeah, I use Sharpie on, on this, uh, on my glass mat. And then you just, you can reactivate Sharpie with, uh, some alcohol, rowing alcohol. And just wipe it off. Show the dyes. I did, Jennifer. Were you drinking? There. Yeah, that wall art. Yeah, and the, <coughs> excuse me. The beautiful thing about that wall art, those frames, um, Nikki, is that uh, you can switch it out anytime, any season. It'll be. Easy to swap out for anything. Hexagon punch is that back? I don't believe it is, Linda. I haven't checked the the list, but I don't think that's back until April. I could be wrong. Okay. All right. One more thing. I mentioned this in my coffee break. Um, my next two classes that are coming up are the blueberry bunches and the perennial postage. And if you're demonstrators in Canada and you want to take just the class, like just the forty dollar card options, if you take both of these, you get fifty five dollars worth of free spending. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here are the cards for the perennial postage. So you get the bundle, which is the stamp set and the dies, which are kind of must have dies, and the cards and the class and all that stuff. And then if you take the blueberry one, it's just the stamp set and the cards. You also get $55 to free spending. Okay, so there's that. All right, that goes away, and now we can start making our cards. Okay. So I hope you're playing along tonight because this one's kind of fun and you can step it up. You can step it down. Okay. What's going on here? I love the glare of my lights. Okay. That drives me insane. <laughs> Stop it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, the glass mat. Yes. So Melanie, that was the other thing I was going to talk about with the glass mat. It has been confirmed as, uh, actually I put it on the trailblazer page, Melanie earlier, cause Bernice was asking the glass mat. It has been confirmed will be, um, available for customers to order. Okay. It will also be available for demonstrators to order on a pre-order on a demo order before that. Um, but no timeline, no dates have been released yet. So, uh, that's what we know about that. And that was as of last week, I heard that information that yes, it's been confirmed, but no dates have been released yet. And soon, um, I've done that, Jennifer, Jennifer, see, you haven't been here in so long. No, you miss all the things. Yes. I've got my papers for here, but it gets in my way. So we just deal with it. Yeah, I tried that. I know. I know all the deals. Okay. Now let's bring in our, my stuff. Cause I had to show you all that, so I couldn't lay out my stuff. And we're going to bring in Mr. Pointer and digital tools, blah, 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 blah. Okay. A couple ladies from the U.S. showed all the new stuff today. Excellent. All of the new online exclusive stuff, you mean? Marsky? 
the little glue bottle in the box. Yeah, and you bought wobblers. Cool. Okay, where's Mr. Plinkett? All right, let's get going on this. So for tonight's card, you're going to need a, oh my God, they're cooking me out again. You're going to need a standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half. I wish these would scroll. Oh, hello, Heather, and why are you glitching? Come on. I just did all updates. It should not be glitching. I don't know what's going on, but anyway. Okay, so there's our standard card base. We're going to bring in some <coughs> card stock, pardon me, three and a quarter by four and a half. And if you want, you can emboss it. You can. And there's Heather. Hello, Heather. Uh, we're going to emboss that. And I am going to because I like a little bit of uh, a little embossing on that. Just add some interest. I am using paper from the coffee suite, the latte suite, uh, a little latte. So that's what, uh, that's the paper that I've used tonight. And that's what the, oh, now look, I've done it again. Settle down there. Okay. So that's the latte suite of paper available tomorrow. So designer, pa uh, designer paper pattern number one, we need it to be three and a half by two. Sorry, just keep, I want to make sure that I'm, uh, my comments aren't scrolling, that I'm not ignoring anybody. Okay. Then we need designer uh, paper pattern number two is three inches wide by one inch high. Usual tools, die cuts, and embellishments. And some scrap for your sentiment. All right, that's all we need for our pieces. That's not very many, right? So I hope you prepped it. And if not, uh, do it later and play along. And then as you know, let me just see if I can move my camera up a bit. It keeps sagging a little bit, but it's better than it was. There we go. Uh, if you play afterwards, make sure you um, post what you've made in the comments below. Okay, so we're going to start as always by folding our card base in half. And I'm going to keep checking to make sure that I'm in the field of vision because I'm still a little bit further than I normally would be if it was just me. But it's much better than it was last week where I was like halfway down, <laughs> halfway down the aisle here. All right. So this piece, which, what did I say? This is three and a quarter by four and a half. That's going to go over here. I am going to emboss it though before I tack it down. I'm going to bring in this piece, which was three and a half by two. She said confidently measuring just to make sure. And I'm going to put that one. <clears throat> I'm going to ultimately put it here flush with this piece. So flush over here. And then this little piece is going to go over here between these two. I like, I like things overhanging. Okay, so it's going to be between those two layers, but I'm going to flag in this one. And that is ultimately our layout. But wait till you see what I do with it. Like it really, like this looks, yeah, it's okay. You know, it doesn't blow your hair back, but it doesn't have to. This could be just a really simple little card with a sentiment, a couple of embellishments and boom, you're done. So frozen, am I frozen for everybody? Mine says it's still ticking. So it might just be Linda. Stacy, thank you. <laughs> okay, let me know if I'm okay for most of you. I think I'm okay for me. Anybody else? Not me. Okay, so it must, I'm hoping, well, I'm not hoping it's Linda. I hope it's not everybody. Okay, all right. So maybe I should start with a simple one. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. This will This will be my simple... Thanks, Tracy. This will be my, my basic easy one because I'm not kidding. I actually prepped seven more because I love this card and I want to mass produce it. So I've, I've got more. So I'm going to do a simple one and then I'll step it up. So I'm going to take uh, this layer, simple little layer, three and a quarter by four and a half. Tracy, did you post the link, honey? And I, I, did, I missed it. I'm not sure. Um, but for anybody who might want to register for the extravaganza, if operators are standing by. Thanks, Beth. Thanks, Joanne. Okay. Oh. Reset and fine. Okay, thanks, Linda. All right, so this one I'm gonna just pop it up on dimensionals and I'm gonna put it over to the right hand corner. So over and down. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to just put some. I'm gonna bring this guy in. I like to use this guy. Uh, I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back of this. And as I said, it's gonna go flush to this side over here. Like that. This one, I'm going to flag end it, <clears throat> dovetail it, whatever you, weren't you going to emboss that? Yeah, no, Jennifer, J 
Jennifer, have you been drinking? I'm going to do that on the next one, girl. This one's going to be simple. First, we're going to go simple. And then we'll step it up. So this is version one. You're going to have to be uninvited, princess. You know, if you can't, pay attention, you know. Oh, I missed the heckling with you, girl. <laughs> oh, you did, and the winner of the draw was Lucy. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Tracy. Okay, and so, of course, with this paper, you could use either, either side. Oh, she will be pleased. Lucy has, I think, attended every one of our extravaganzas. So that's nice. We don't know what the prize is yet because we haven't seen the new catalog yet. Yeah, oh, did I? I know, but on the next one. Didn't I, like... I know I said I'm gonna. <laughs> okay. Oh, you just caught off the island, Jennifer. Okay. All right. So like that. And then I'm going to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I'm going to do it in early espresso. And this one I did, hello there, let's catch up. Um, I could do it as a thanks so much. You're the best part of my day. But I think I'll stick with the hello there. Oh, let's catch up. My piece is a three quarter inch strip. And I'm going to stamp it just over to the right. <laughs> well, maybe I did. I don't know. I'm not running on a lot of sleep. I'm just saying. I have excuses this week. I just, I thought I said I was changing my mind. I don't know. My prerogative. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to slice that down a bit. I'm going to flag end, or dovetail. I could use my punch, but it's way over there. Seems like a lot of work. All right, so we're going to do this. Take that out of there. And I'm going to pop that up with dimensionals. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's have a discussion about what Tamara said. I don't know. I don't know. It's been a week. All right, so this is the card. So you can't really see that. If this was a skinnier strip, this would be a little bit more obviously a dovetail. We're going to go like this. Okay, now I've got, these are the embellishments that go with this suite, so I can certainly use these. This is like a pumpkin pie. Um, how about if I go that? That would that could be enough, but I just, I'm just showing you the simplicity of this layout. <clears throat> that you don't have to have all the toys. You don't have to have like that's it. And Donna, <laughs> see now Donna and Princess are in the house. Okay, now we're doomed. So you guys who are new to watching my show, you're not familiar with Donna and um, and Princess, the tag team of Heckling and. And banter with these two. It's been a while, you guys, since we've done that. <laughs> All right. So this is the really simple layout. Okay. How do you love it? Do you love it? I love it. Okay. But we can do more. We can do more. I'm going to do more. Want to watch me do more? Okay. Same pieces. I'm bringing in this one. And I'm bringing in, this time, the, the uh, three and a quarter by four and a half piece. I am embossing. Curl, oh, Donna, you are torn. <laughs> She's got curling to watch too. This time I embossed this layer. Now this one is with the stripes and splatters. I was so excited that it was still current. I've lost it. It seems to be gone here. Uh, where did it go? That is still current. I was terrified that it was going to be uh, discontinued. Um, and the reason I, I wondered that was because um, it was one of the celebrations options that you could get for free. Thank you, Bev. Uh, and it is, it's not in here. So it's stripes and, oh, here we go. <laughs> That's why. This is the stripes and this is the splatters. So you might have gotten this for free. <clears throat> and they are paint splats, but I thought, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe they look like coffee splats. So that's why I chose that one. Love the coordination. So this one I'm going to pop up on dimensionals. I don't know why my dimensionals are covered in blue ink. I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> There must have been an incident. Okay. Thank you, Bev. And, and Bev, I mean, this is a this is a great card. You know, if you're if you're starting out on learning the cards and are you know some good layouts, <clears throat> that one's it's lovely, right? It doesn't have to be all the things, but if you have all the toys like I do, 
You want to use them all. Yes, Jennifer, the markers for free. That was such a good deal. All right, so this one too, I'm going to put over to the right and down. <clears throat> now, I'm going to bring in my paper and my paper. Okay. Everybody move over. So this is, these are the exact same pieces. I just embossed this one. So again, this one is flush with the side. Obviously, you can do whatever you want. They don't have to be flush. They don't have to be the way Tamara says. Let's bring in my punch. Let me show you. If you, haven't, if you don't have this punch, you need this punch. Because it's six punches in one. Because there's a half inch, three quarters of an inch, and one inch times these two different layouts. So the only, the only downside to the punch is you lose a little bit more of the paper. Not much on the three quarter inch, like you're, you're losing this, this little titch more, right? It's like an eighth of an inch. On the one inch though, you lose quite a bit more of your paper, but that makes it easy to get a flag end. So I'm going to put this one again. I'm putting this one between these two like that. Now, while we're here, might as well stamp my sentiment, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. When was this? Uh, celebrations, Nikki. Um, the markers were available for free with a $120 order. Um, in February, they added the second batch of free celebrations items you could get, and the, the new core color markers were one of the options you could get at the $120 level. Look, Jennifer, she typed it all out. I just said it. So, all right. Again, this is in the early espresso. And this is a bundle that you can get starting tomorrow. Uh, it's hugely popular for all of us. Well, I mean, you don't even have, you don't have to be the coffee drinker. You need to get this bundle to give to your coffee loving friends. You could put a gift card inside, right? Like, look at this. So, um, hello there. Let's catch up. And you put in a, a little uh, coffee card, a uh, uh, gift card in there and look at the the dies so let me just show you the I don't know what some of these do yet I, like what is this supposed to be I don't even know what this one is what is this I don't know what this is we'll have to figure that out uh but they're coffee pots they're coffee beans there's steam I think that's might be steam um there's a spoon I know what that is but anyway these cut out the the designer paper uh <laughs> all right Jennifer <laughs> you ignored the add-ons Nikki you're killing me girl okay Anyway, let's do this in the flag end as well. And we'll take off a little bit more. Oh, this one's taking off quite a bit more. Hmm. Oh, because this is the three quarter. The other one, oh, anyway, it doesn't matter why. Okay, so this is gonna go here. Now I'm gonna tape this one down flat. You'll see why in a minute. Oh, okay, it's the handle for the pot. I thought it looked like a handle or a, a stand of some sort. So, okay, this one I'm not gonna pop up on a dimensional. I'm just gonna lay it flat. Because here's why. These pieces, this one and this one, let me show you. I die cut them all. I cut, like, this was easy. It didn't take that long. I just sat here for 20 minutes talking to Tracy and I got all my die cutting down. So I might have, <clears throat> let me just show you what I got here. I got all kinds of stuff going on. These are my embellishments, right? So I've got, I'm going to make seven of them. I'm not even kidding. I'll show you a few tips, trip, tricks and tips as we go along here. <clears throat> All right, so here are my pieces. I guess I didn't need those, and I don't need these. But I did cut out. Oh, here it is in, in pecan pie. This is the pecan pie is the other color. I've chipped a nail. I am not happy. Did you just glitch on me again? Seriously? Okay. Oh, so glitch blade. <laughs> oh, excellent. Thank you, Marlene. Okay. Uh, Bimeter is 6 by 6 4 by 6 It's great, but would have been better if it was 6 by 6 6 by 6 or 4 by 6 What was 4 by 6 What's 4 by 6 Nikki, I have questions. Okay. So I cut this out from um, Petal Pink. Is that the pink we have these days? Whatever that pink is. And then I cut out some vellum. So that's... Um, where I put it? <clears throat> these two dies. So this one, I, I think this is what it does. So I don't know. It worked for me. And this one. So the, the coffee press. So I cut this out of the vellum. 
and it seems to fit a little trimmer. So, oh, oh, yes. Okay. All right. I missed that conversation. Thank you. So this, I think, goes behind here because this little titch here appears to line up with this little corner right here. So I'm assuming this goes here like this. Seems to make sense to me. Okay. So I'm going to bring in my fancy dancy little blue bottle that I bought off Amazon. Thank you to all my friends who clued me into that. Okay. These guys are going to go back over here. I'm going to need him and I'm going to need him and I'm going to need him. All right. So I'm bringing in my little blue bottle because I did not, I purposely didn't put the adhesive sheets on the back of this because um, I want to pop it up on dimensionals and I don't want it to be sticky past the vellum, which some of it would be if I use the adhesive sheet. So I just, I'm bringing in this little guy and I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue. Like this. And I'm going to line it up with this piece of vellum, this little corner on this little corner. And it's okay if I make a mess because I'm on my glass mat and I can wipe it up if I need to. So I think that's crooked. Am I in the field of vision? No. Okay, get in there straight. Come on. My fingers aren't working. Like that. Okay. All right. So to vellum, you can use window sheet to look like glass. Ooh, I like that, Sonia. This is we're going with frosted glass. Okay. <laughs> but I like that idea too. Now, I wanted it to look like there was some coffee in behind. So there's a few things you can do. You can grab your blend marker and you can color it. But then I thought, nay, nay. I will grab my uh, early espresso cardstock and my adhesive sheet. So this is white because it's an adhesive sheet. Now, usually when you go to... Um, Usually when you go to uh, use your adhesive sheets, here's what you do. You put an adhesive sheet on the back of your cardstock, and then you grab your die. And let's just say we're using this one. Let's say it fit. We put it on here. We run it through the machine, and then we pull off the back. It's a sticker, right? In this case, I did the opposite. I grabbed this. I don't even know what this is supposed to be, but it seems to fit. So I did it like, instead of going like this to cut it out, I did it like this to cut it out because I want the sticky side up so that I can stick it to my vellum. If you've used vellum before, you know that when you go to put glue on it, the person can see the glue and that is not okay. So if, if the glue is everywhere, it won't be noticeable. So that's what I did. I put the sticker on the top so that it's going to attach to the vellum everywhere. I can get it off like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, so now it's sticky. I'm going to turn this guy over. Oh, yes, Bev, you have to buy them. You have to. They, are, they make everything a sticker. It makes life so much easier. Okay, so now, oh, just stuck to my finger. So now I'm going like this, and now it looks like there's some coffee in there. I, I don't know if that's what this piece is for. I was just playing today and so I'm just going to go and take my bone folder and I'm really going to push that down so that you can uh, get a hundred percent seal in there and the the coffee will look a little bit darker. So I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be but it seems to work. <laughs> okay well look at that then. You know I really should have just looked online and seen seen what the uh, designers did. But there, doesn't that look like coffee sort of just kind of hanging out in the carafe? Okay, so now we're gonna bring in our card again. Not a card again, our card again. And I'm gonna put the dies away so Donna doesn't yell at me. And then I am going to grab my dimensional, let's throw away our card stock because it's in the way. I'm gonna bring in my minis and my Thank you, Susan. Uh, I'm going to put some mini dimensionals on here. So this is the back. Seven thirty-four. Boy, time flies when you're having fun. Honestly, I had fun with this layout, and uh, 
I want to try it too with the um, um, I wanted to try it with the Rockstar paper. We'll see if I can get that. Okay, so here I'm going to go like this. I can pop that down over here. Did I take all the backings off? Yes. And then I've got two little coffee cups again in the um, uh, petal pink. These are both facing the same way. There are two cups facing the opposite direction. Let me grab one that's the opposite direction. And I'm finding all of the ones that are left. There we go. Here's one that's right. Okay. And these, they just happen to have adhesive sheets on the back. I didn't realize that when I was cutting them. So I guess you could pop them up, but I'm not going to. I'm going to pop one down here. I, uh, I was too, Jennifer. Uh, I've had it for how long? And I hadn't opened it yet. So I understand the overwhelm. I really do. Uh, it's, it's a real thing. All right. Now I'm going to grab these again. These are, I don't know what these are called. These are called the adhesive back swirl dots. So they look like swirls on a coffee. Fancy coffee. Fancy. Okay. And this is in the petal pink. Whenever you don't know what colors to use, you turn to the designer paper. They had Calypso Coral in here as well as one of the colors. Okay, I like that. And I just, I wanted a little something, something extra. You know me. You know me. Love me a bow. So, yeah, I'm doing a bow. This time I'm doing it in uh, linen. But we do have, I mean, white would have looked really cute, good too. But I was feeling the linen, more of an earth tone. You didn't, hey, Linda? Doesn't float your boat? Like I see, even if you're not into coffee... Uh, people that you would be giving it to could be. So I think it's a great a great set to have to um, pop in a gift card. And let me show you a little trick. If I can find my things easily, I'll show you something here. Um, let me show you something here. Little oval to make coffee for the little coffee cups too. Oh, look at the big brain on Donna. Thank you, Donna. Is that what those are? Oh, well. Okay, I'm going to have to do that. Okay, Donna. Donna Connolly. So this, I think I'll do it in the... I guess, should I do... Where did that piece go? Do we still have the piece? Here, yeah. There's already stiff, sticky on the back. So here's what we're going to do. Bev, this one's for you. Thank you to Donna C. I'm going to run this through the embossing folder. I didn't... Um, I didn't take my own advice. I always tell you guys, when you get a set of, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I always tell you, <laughs> when you get a set of dies, to, um, my throat is closed up, <laughs> when you uh, get a set of dies, you should run them all through uh, the machine just to see what they do and see what they are. So look at that. This is what Donna just told me is that these little ovals, I'm going to put this back, Donna, Donna B. There we go. This is sticky. So if I would have done that, I probably would have recognized that there. Oh my God, that is so much better. Donna, you're brilliant. Love it. That's, that's exactly what this needs. Some coffee in that cup. Ah, I love it. Okay. And then this little bow. Mm -hmm. so usually I like to make them into a little circle before I take them off the can roll it up a bit okay and like this I mean come on how cute is this card I absolutely love it and I'm just trying to get these little tails a little bit more under control here. They're chambers. It's chaos. I love this card. I love this card so much that I prepped for seven of them. Okay, stop it. Okay, check it out. Now, while you oogle and ooh and ah over simple, stepped up, I mean, come on! I love it so much. Let me uh, give him my butt shot here. And let me reach up way up high and see if I try not to drop this on my head. Ah, oh, wrong bucket. No, nope, not wrong bucket. Look, okay, good. Right bucket. All right, so if they're still in stock, because they've been on low inventory for, oh, like ever, 
every time I go through the, the list, oh, they might be gone now. I don't know. But forever, these little three by three envelopes have been on low inventory, like forever. But here's the thing. Here, watch this. If they're still available, let's pretend this was a coffee card. How about we get a real coffee card? Uh, Tim's. Tim, no, uh, Tim's. Okay, that one's better. Can't believe we don't have a Starbucks one down here. Okay. So if you have a three by three envelope, here's what you can do. You can tuck in the flap. You can cut the flap off. Let's do that. Be gone, flap. Okay, let's go like this. That. You could grab a, a little uh, circle punch. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We could do an oval. No, I could not. We could do. That was too big. I've got circles galore. I don't know. Let's do a. That one's way too big. Okay. What do we got here for circles? Uh, what's our smallest circle? Come on. One and a quarter. Is that too big? Let's see. Oh, we can just go like this. We're just going to take a little nip out of it. Center that. Take a little nip out of it. <clears throat> Pop in your gift card. Tape it down like that. Boom. Right? Look at that. Hello there. Let's catch up. And they open it and... There's the gift card that I've glued in there, which I haven't done right now. Love it. Love it. I love it. Love it except the bow. No bow for Bev. Okay, well, you don't have to have a bow. You can be bowless. Bowless in Ontario. That's cool. I'm a bow girl. I like my bows. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Okay. You can stamp the little coffee pieces and then die cut. Yes. Okay, so that's what I did. Yes, thank you. And then again, who am I to comment with a whole six months experience compared to you? <laughs> hey man, to each his own. I mean, this could be more your style. It's clean, simple. Okay. You want to see a couple other versions of what I did. So this is the card that inspired it all. And this was cased, right? Copy and share everything. This was copied from somebody like two, three years ago when we had this, the, uh, partner pals or whatever that was. I don't know. I think the apples, whatever this was. I copied the layout and this is the one I was going to send to my sister-in-law and then I couldn't do it. I'm like, I need that layout. Although I probably already have it in my bucket. So there it is with new and fresh stuff. Then while I was talking to Tracy, I was just putzing around and doing some stuff and things. Boom. Look, we got the bees. This was easy. I know I love that apple bundle. I think I still have mine too. Yeah. With all the bees, right? So these, I had them die cut already. Uh, I use my, I have a fancy machine that cuts them out. And again, the paper, uh, these are the little bee embellishments. The little, I love you. How easy is that? That, I mean, seriously, that took me about six minutes. I love it. Now, it is 7.43, right, Bev? <laughs> So, I, I, I kind of like this clean and simple one, let me tell you. All right. I was going to, if I had time, now, see, I get in my head. This is the problem. I thought, well, why don't I try <clears throat> doing it with the rock and roll bundle? Because I haven't used the rock and roll bundle yet, which I love. My brother is a rock star. Like, literally, he's got, he built a recording studio in his, like, it used to be a garage. Now it's a, rec a full-on recording studio, you guys. Okay, so hi, Crystals from Australia. Happy anniversary. Don't be glitching. Happy anniversary. Uh, 10 years, I think you said. Hey, I think that's amazing. Congratulations. So let's try this one and see where we go until you showed me the other cards. I did two. Okay. Right? Yes, well, once you've seen them stepped up, right? That's And then they, they got you for another $1,000 with the toys, right? <laughs> but I just like to show that it does you don't have to have all the things that's the beauty of mystery card monday you should be able to keep it simple and or step it up so all right giddy up let's go uh this was going to be two by three and a half she said going from memory three and a half yes and then this one is one i couldn't decide on what paper to use though 
uh, one by three. So it was three by one. So it's going to be, no, how about we measure it and then we'll know. Three by two. This was three. Oh, it is one. Three by one. Okay, so three long. I could do it into three. You could cut it like this. Three. by one and then you can help me decide which one looks better okay, like this and you know I'm gonna start floundering right away here but I'll try to keep it simple okay so like this excellent do a cousin this rock star cool all right so we're gonna fold it in half hello Cheryl how are you welcome okay. now uh, the big question would be, what would I emboss this with? Hmm. Let me just grab my ticket trunk of embossing folders. Okay, let me see here. A lot of times I'll, I'll have pieces like this so that I can, oh yeah, that works. Oh yeah, no, that doesn't. Just to give me an idea what doesn't, doesn't work. Okay, let's have a little quick gander here. Maybe, how about this one? That work? Wouldn't not work. It was ever double negative. Um, two, 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 sure. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Is that too much? Is that overkill? Is that gonna be ridiculous? Let me see. Let me see. A funky shapes one. I think that I don't know. That doesn't really scream rock star to me. I think it's too classical. Yeah, you think? Yeah, there are. Eh. Mm. It's gonna be a rebel. Going against the grain. It makes sense, but I think that's like more classical than this one seems more rock starry. Okay, so I'm gonna run this through my embossing folder <clears throat> or my uh cut and emboss machine. If I can find my Plates. Hey, did I tell you guys I got myself off the high blood pressure meds? I guess I should take my blood pressure to make sure that I'm not ridiculously high again. But uh, it was down and I was getting a little lightheaded. So they said cut it in half. I, went, eh. I cut it in half for two days and then I just stopped. <laughs> Joy to the world. Yeah, that doesn't work for me, Donna. That doesn't work. Hey, this one is fun. Look at this. I love this one. Okay. Maybe this will be my favorite card ever. It's all about the music. I don't listen to music. I don't listen to music in the car. Um, yeah. Oddly enough, though, I'm going to the Linda Rodstan um, gig this Saturday at the Jube. <laughs> like all her music. So it's kind of ironic. I don't like music, but I'm going to go see that. It's not that I don't like music. It's just I have so much stimulation and so much going on in my life that that looks really crooked. That I just like it quiet. I, uh, yeah. That's crooked. Let's go like this. All right. And then we're going to use glue on this because it's so embossed. Oh, the stars would be good. Great idea, Judy. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, I checked it a few times, Bev, but I need to check it a little bit more this week. It's been a bit of a stressful week, but uh, I can generally tell. Okay, this still looks crooked. I might have embossed it crooked, and that's what's kind of throwing me off. Or maybe it's cut crooked. I don't know. Who's to worry about it tomorrow? Okay, so now I think that's too white. I don't even know that you need this, actually. Hmm. Thoughts? What are some of the other patterns in here? Um, I, just, I couldn't find a good one that... Maybe just plain black. Okay, I think I broke a nail. Maybe I'll just use a chunk of plain black. Or this one. Is that one? Get a cut a cut. I don't know. What do you think? I'm thinking black, actually. Give a good solid contrast. Let's try it. Let's see what we got here. Okay, if we do. What did I say it was? Three by one. <clears throat> Three by one. Let's 
Let's maybe clean up this mess as we go so that I can... that okay I'm just gonna go with it because I don't have the time I've only got 10 minutes pop up ready I was thinking of doing that in the uh in the guitar somehow it's a pop for sure I mean you certainly could use designer paper from another pack it doesn't have to be from the same one right it doesn't Kathy I see what you did there <laughs> it doesn't rock your world okay I had to get it because, like I say, my brother is um, a musician, an amazing musician. I'm a little biased, however. Uh, so then this one I thought this will be my thingy here. The only thing is that um, the sentiment isn't going to be, thanks for being an icon. Like they don't, you want something that's kind of going to go straight across. Or you're a rock star. Um, I think I'm actually going to do you're a rock star, and then I might pop it up somewhere else. Like it doesn't, it doesn't have to go where I said it was going to go. Oh, maybe not. Um, this one. Thanks for being an icon, huh? Is that weird. What up there? Hmm. Or this one's too big for the rest now. Like have a rock and roll. Well, maybe not. It's gonna take up a lot of the space. So what do you think? What what should I do? Or do I just do nothing? And on the inside, maybe I'll just do nothing and put it on the inside. So how about this? I need some scrap. Oh, glimmer red. That would be awesome. I was thinking of just coloring it. Let's see, it's 7.52. I'm running out of time. Um, what have we got here? Memento. I have no idea if this is going to be dark enough, though. Ugh, see, this is how things get ruined. Why I can't have nice things. I always open it and get the ink all over my finger. All right, let's see if I can do this. Should use my stamparatus to get a nice dark even coverage, but we'll see. So we're at point the guitar to the right instead, and the sentiment fits on the left. Thank you, Bev. Okay, let's see if I can make a nice solid image. No, it is not dark enough for my liking. However, I can go back and fix that later. Let me die cut it. Running out of time, 7.53. I, just, I really want to do this in a bright uh, cherry cobbler blend. want to oh okay I don't have I'm just gonna stick this down with a post-it note so it doesn't move when I cut it the die doesn't seem to fit 100% perfectly that makes me not happy Let's see what we here. so you see I just sandwiched it down with my post-it note so that it didn't move Okay, so you're saying this way instead <coughs> of that way. So to fit it up here, which sentiment were you thinking, Bev? Oh, you're a rock star. That would work. A rock and roll birthday. That would work too. I just want to, um, yeah, it does work better, I think, that way. Now, I want Poppy Parade. Cherry Cobbler, Dark, Puppy Parade, or where's my real red? Dark. Let's see which one I want for my guitar. 
Time limit or does Facebook only allow an hour? No, I just like it to be just an hour. Okay, so this is a dark real red. And I usually get pretty close. This is, ooh, that is nasty. What is this? Dark Poppy Parade. So the first one was real red. Poppy Parade. Oh, this one's nasty. Used to. Cherry Cobbler. Okay, it's either real red. I think it's real red. Or Poppy. Which one? Real red. Well, so don't overthink it because I'm going to redo this guy anyway. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go in. And this one is really mangled. So uh, let's see if I've got another one. No, I do. Real red. Sweet sort of. Okay. Real red. Cannot believe I don't have an extra real red. However, maybe I don't. Maybe we'll use the other end. Is this dark or light? This is the dark. Okay. Okay, it's pulling very pink actually right now. Okay, well, we're just going to play real red with a sweet sorbet mixed. Ooh. You're getting complicated. So that's going to be my pop of red like that. Some of us need to go to bed eventually. 10 p.m. here. <laughs> I got four minutes left. Okay, so I think I'll do your rock star. And then I'll finish it off off camera. Again, I want this to be a better black, juicier. However, you're a rock star. field of vision or actually I could I could do this with uh, embossing powder but yeah that's going to need to be a lot darker You're a rock star. I mean, it could go down here. I don't think I, I like it better up here, I think. Yeah, like that. And it'll be red and I'll put some embellishments. So, like, yeah. Let me grab. I do still have three minutes, but you get the idea. So there. There, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not done, but I don't want to drag it out because I want to remind you of what we've done and what you're going to be doing tomorrow. Um... It's a good one, Jennifer. It's a good one. Yeah, you and you, you and Nicole and your rock stars and things like that. So, I mean, you can you can obviously play around with it and put it wherever you like. You could also cut this in half. You could just. How about if I did this? It doesn't even have to be your eye. It could just be rock star. Right? Rock star. But that's it. Gets a little lost here because of this paper is so busy. So. You could stamp it in red along those lines. So yeah, I'm gonna play around with that. But so let's recap. Here is the super basic. Let's get this out of the way now so it's not glaring. The basic layout. With the pieces from the recipe. There we go, like that. Then the stepped up version. My desk is falling apart. I need to redo it stepped up version. We've got the original that it all came from. We have these. And then at some point we'll have the rock star. <laughs> so it just goes to show that it is a really versatile layout. Get back here and there we go like that. Just shows that you can do so much with one layout. Like Really, it's just the pieces and you can move them around. Put your dies away. I will. I will, Donna. I will. Um, but I'm not done with it yet because I have to redo this. I, you, who am I kidding? I'm not going to send that out. It's not dark enough. So I'm, I'm not done with them yet. So, But I will. Thank you. <laughs> and the insides and the envelopes. Yes, I'm getting much better at that. Um, so that's it. That's all. I hope you played along. If you did, I'm going to take pictures of these. And then I love when you guys put um, your 
what you came up with in the comments below my photos. Um, I love to see what you do with it. There's, there's so much versatility um, with these layouts. So I hope you learned something. I hope you got some inspiration. I hope you get this bundle, the coffee bundle. Again, that's available tomorrow morning. Um, demonstrators and customers alike. Anybody can order them uh, while supplies last. So there might be a run on it. And the paper is Delvine, so that might go too. Uh, thank you, Sonia. Um, that's it. I will see you guys here Friday morning for coffee break at 10 o'clock mountain time and we'll go over all the stuff and the things and the extravaganza and the winners and um all that kind of stuff so i'll see you here 10 o'clock friday thank you for spending an hour of your time with me i appreciate you guys and uh we'll talk to you soon have a great week